Izzy, part four. So let's get started. Izzy, Ash and I arrive home. The apartment feels like a sauna. I can't believe it's March. I assume my mom is at, still at work because since she's not around. Danny came home at the same time we did, cranks up the window unit, and we huddle around it like a campfire. Ah, craving s'mores. Uh, unearthly hum we're all used to. The front door opens. Mom's. Groceries. Normal scrubs. She throws me an uh-oh. She throws me a look. Uh-oh. Izzy, could you come in the kitchen, please? Gulp. Not pretty sure... Not sure what's going on, but I don't like it. My mom, who's pr normally pretty chill, chill, looks like she's trying to keep it from wringing my neck. So I discovered this when I was cleaning up the kitchen earlier. Blank. You want to explain? I say nothing. Survival technique. Last chance. Nope. I'm so sorry, but I was told. I totally didn't realize that I. Yeah, it was a take-home test. I thought it was a study guide, and yeah, I should, I should have studied it, but I swear I won't do it again. I'm going to try harder, and I promise. Stop. I've heard all this before, Izzy. This is the final straw. You're grounded three days, and I expect you to get your, your math grade up. Okay, wait. And yes, no talent show. No! No nego... Negotiating. I had a long shift last night and I need rest. I'm going back to bed. But, Ma Mom, I'm so sorry. But it's not fair. I worked so hard. Tear drop tidal wave. I'm sorry too, Izzy, but I'm not bud budging. Even through my tears, I can see she means business. This is so unfair. Can't you ground me after the show? No. Rules are rules. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in a few hours. Danny, please feed up the leftovers for dinner. I feel like I can't breathe. The one thing that makes me happy and I'm good at, she took it away. I run past her and my sisters into my room. I slam the door hard. Bam! I hear Danny through the thin walls. She shouldn't get away with that. She could break the hinges. Let her be, honey. She's going to be mad for a while. Oh, you can say that again. Brianna. One of the talent show entries is a short is a group of seventh graders doing short interrelated scenes from a play. There's a two person scene that's integral to it and an actor got sick. They need a last minute replacement. Anyway, what no please hun this the scene isn't that long and I think you'd be terrific. Why? Because I'm constantly showing off my dramatic tang talents? You are now. I know, I know. This isn't your thing. But I really, I could really use your help. I gotta start an English paper. Free, I wouldn't ask if I wasn't desperate. Oh, man. Ugh, fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Erg. You're going to have so much fun, I promise. It's such a nice group of kids. And we're going to have pizza and soda and, okay, mom, let's go. Let go. Sure, okay. Here's the script. Easy peasy. Go home and memorize. It'll be no problem with that sponge of mine. I'll pick it up at 4.30 for rehearsal. Teacher and jeans. The scene, the scene is casual. Okay? I've got to run and start setting up. Thanks again, hon. Squeeze. Flip. 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 Panic. Izzy. I sit on my bed and stare at the wall numbly. I mean, why not? There's nothing better to do. I don't need to rehearse. I don't need to pick out performance clothes today. Okay, I I hadn't picked out a month ago, so I stare. Sniff. Fixed point of stardom. I hear my sisters whispering. You think by now they would know you can hear everything through these walls. It, it's no accident that my mom room is on the other side of the apartment away from ours. She bought it on herself. But it's not fair, Danny. Is it really, really good? And she practiced so much. Maybe she, she, she should have paid as much attention as class. Well, I'm gonna try to cheer her up. Knock, knock. Go away, Ashley. It's my room too. Let me in. Rat. She has a point. I lift myself off the bed like an old lady with rattly bones, and I open the door. I know what you're trying to do, but it won't work. When Mom makes up her mind, that's it. So I'm just gonna be. 
grumpy for the rest of my life. It's not the rest of your life. It's a one-time thing. Yeah, but it's a whole nother year. If they do even do another show, so forget it, Ash. You can't cheer me up. Okay, fine. We sit in silence for a minute. Suddenly, Ashley brightens and grabs my arm. I won't try to cheer you up, but I can help you sneak out. Brianna. OMG. This thing isn't easy peasy. It's five pages long, and it's no lift weight piece. It's dramatic. Doomed. I thought the last thing I, I want to do is get up on stage. Nope. Last thing I want to do is get up on stage and perform a dramatic five-page scene. Oh, yeah. And with only a couple of hours to memorize it. Oh, yeah, again, and perform in front of practically the whole school and Anthony Randall. Crazy eyes. I stand there for an eternity. Then I come to my senses. I need help. Now. Emmy! I race to the basement. I can smell the feelings before I get there. Mix of turpentine, sharpies, and peanut butter. Emmy is painting away, and I also recognize Sarah and Tyler. Bree, can you come into the hall? PB and J sandwich. You have to help me, huh? My mom is making me do some skin in the talent show. You have to help me. Wait, she's making you? Just help me, please. Okay, okay, let me put my stuff away. Emmy starts cleaning up. I want to shake her to make her move faster, but that's M. Always deliberate. Convince is also her hidden way to sneak stick it to me. Actually, her calm is starting to calm me down. Only slightly panicked. Bye, guys. Later. Okay, what do you need? Come to my house. Help me practice. You're doing it again. Sorry. Would you please help help me practice? Sure, I'll text my mom. Okay, we can make we can still make the bus. Let's go. I mean, please. Ancient cell phone. Uh oh, bad news. What? My mom says I have an I have an orthodontist appointment. I too. I forgot. Ah! Maybe you can rehearse with someone else. Are you doing the scene with, her, with anyone? Yeah, but I don't know who. Well, sorry. I'm going to go finish my project before my mom comes. Text you later? Uh-huh. I make it just in time to catch the bus. There are still some seats left. It's so warm, a lot of kids must be walking. Back to full-fledged panic. Hey, Bree. Hey, Dev. Guess what? We're seeing up for the scene tonight. Your mom just told me. Dev, Dev are in that scene? Didn't see that coming. You don't say. Izzy. I look at Ashley like she's grown three heads. Are you crazy? I'm serious. You can do it. Rehearsal is at five, da Danny. will be at the library all afternoon, and Mom sleeps like a rock. That's true. My mom could sleep through an earthquake, especially after a long shift. My heart starts pounding. pounding. Oh, man, I want to do it. Still, I may not, not be the best kid at school, but I've never done anything well like this. I can't. It's too risky. I'll tell Mom and Danny that you're mad and to, and to leave you alone. If they come in and check, I'll tell them you're asleep. Oh, wow. This could work. Then again, what if someone at the, at the show sees me perform and tells my mom? Doubtful. Mom barely knows any of the parents. She works so much. And what if Danny finds out? Would she snitch? If I get caught, I'll be grounded till I'm 30. Nah, I'm I've never told you this. What? I've snuck out a bunch of times. I laugh. I can't help it. I know Ash sneaks out. She leaves when my mom when mom's asleep or at work and Danny's doing homework. She goes to her friend Megan's house, whose mom thinks is a bad influence, and they sneak read her dad's dirty magazines in the bathroom. I know this because Dan Danny found out from Megan's older sister and told me. In weird, un Danny like fashion, she swore me to sec secrecy. I think it's partly because Megan's sister didn't want her to snitch and take her reading fun, and because, well, no one wants to take Ashley down, not even Danny. Ash is looking at me funny. Sorry, I don't, just don't believe you. Well, I have. I go to Megan's where we um listen to bad songs in her room. No one knows. Don't tell. I won't. So will you do it? I think about it for a minute. Actually, I've already made up my not, mind. Yes! Brianna, I get home and heat some Hawaiian pizza from the freezer. Memorizing lines. Weirdly, going over lines calms me down. Probably because cause I'm used to memorizing stuff for school. Choo choo. Pineapple and ham, which grosses out Emmy. My dad gets home. Hey, kiddo, just grabbing some. 
book a lunch for the meeting before the meetings. Some travel mug with cold coffee. Slowest drinker ever. Tone donut tie. True. What's that? Mom asked me to cover at this talent show. It's a skit. She asked you. Yeah, she said she was des said she was desperate. Chuckle. I say. It's not funny. I'm gonna blow this. Oh, hey, honey. No, you won't. I was kidding. Listen, your mom can be well impulsive, but she wouldn't give you anything you couldn't handle. Anyway, this could be good. Shake out, shake you out of your routine. Maybe I do get tired of being just a breed. Never mind. Never, maybe. And I've already, and I've already ha memorized half the line. So how hard can it be? Eerie for foreshadowing. All er, right. Go get him, kid. Dad, you're tied. Never mind. Slam. Bzz. Oh, hi, hi, Han. Thanks again. Okay with the lines? Yes, practicing now. Okay, see you at 4.30. For some reason, her enthusiasm is making me nervous again. Sigh. I finished lunch and continue memorizing lines. In half an hour, I have him down pat. Surprised even myself. Sponge brain to the rescue. I'm just in the nick of time. Ding dong, flop. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy my video. Bye!